and we are back. Uh, we, <laughs> Top Gun Maverick will have to wait till tomorrow because uh, Ace Combat 7 PlayStation VR is just 45 gigabytes. It's going to take a while till I download it. And then tomorrow we're going to do Iron Man and uh, Top Gun Maverick Ace Combat 7. So. I figured we can do a little bit of Gran Turismo and then call it a night. It just takes a long time to download these games, you know. It's you know how slow it is. 45 gigabytes, you know, especially in the PlayStation 4. Uh, these old hard drives. This Mazda's pretty good, actually. Welcome back, Mamba. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow for Top Gun Maverick. Uh, it's 45 gigabytes, man. I didn't realize the Ace Combat PlayStation VR, it's that big, you know. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be worth it tomorrow, trust me. We'll do uh, Iron Man and Top Gun Maverick Ace Combat in VR, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, dude. We'll, we'll do Tony Stark, Iron Man, and Top Gun Maverick uh, Ace Combat in PlayStation VR. So it'll be like a double whammy of greatness. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, dude. It's gonna, it's gonna be so much fun, dude. Trust me. It's gonna be action-packed Ace Combat PlayStation VR fighting those uh, fifth generation stealth fighters uh, it's just like in the movie in VR and then we're gonna do Iron Man in VR it's gonna be great it's gonna be a great Friday afternoon evening and night tomorrow PlayStation VR greatness I didn't realize how big uh, it's 45 gigabytes pretty pretty hefty though you know they're using Unreal Engine on um, on Ace Combat. This Mazda is not that bad, actually. I was looking at this Mazda right here, convertible. It's quite nice, actually. I mean, really, I this is something that I can joyride. Imagine how crazy the uh, the Gran Turismo 7 going to be. How big do you think, Mamba? I'm guessing 90 gigabytes. Maybe more. Maybe 110 gigabytes. How big do you think the update's going to be on Gran Turismo 7? I'm guessing it's gonna be around 110 gigabytes, roughly. Welcome back, Dominic. How are you? Tomorrow we're gonna to do Top Gun Maverick. 
uh, Ace Combat, PlayStation VR 1. Oh, you're going to love this. Trust me. Dominic, you, you do not want to miss this tomorrow. It's going to be like a movie, action-packed in VR. And then we're going to do Iron Man VR. So tomorrow you got a treat. You got a Top Gun Maverick Ace Combat in PlayStation VR fighting the the fifth generation stealth fighters uh three o'clock it's gonna be three o'clock sharp and uh after that around five o'clock we'll spend two hours having action-packed uh ace combat top gun maverick action in vr and then uh at around five o'clock we're gonna do uh iron man Perfect. Oh, that's okay. I'll be I'll be in uh, all day long. Uh, in the afternoon, afternoon and the evening, I'll be here. So, but even if you miss those two hours of Ace Combat, don't worry, you can re-watch it again, and I'll do it again for you if you need me to, you know. <clears throat> and Iron Man is so much fun, guys. It is so much fun. Like, you got your own, uh, villa huge villa you know so many cool gadgets inside and uh what's her name uh pepper what's her name pepper what's her name <laughs> uh. oh that's okay mamba you know, even if you even if you miss it, uh, you still be able to see it uh, through uh, pre-recorded on demand. <coughs> I'm gonna change your car. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Why? What happened? I got so many cars here to choose from. I even got the Fair Lady 300ZX. Let's do some old school, old school driving. <laughs> Let's see. Old school. Hey, man, not bad. I like this old school shit. Dude, 
you guys prefer this viewing angle? Oh, this shit handles pretty good. Fair Lady Z, 300X, or 3000X, or, no, 300X, is it? Hey, Brendan, welcome back. You know, some of these older cars what's up Alex how you doing welcome to the chat some of these older cars um, they're more appealing to me than this new stuff to be honest with you Congratulations, Clay. Uh, yes, Fair Lady Z. How did you know it's a fair? Yeah, it is a Fair Lady Z. 300. 300, yeah. Fair Lady. Oh, my Fair Lady. That's awesome, man. They shipped it. I'm sure Mamba did your ship. Yours should be shipping as well, man. Mamba, did you check your email? <clears throat> oh, okay. I think it depends on when you place the order date. Uh, I think that's how they're doing it, based on uh, when did you place the pre-order. You know, kind of like a first come, first serve. Maybe that's how they're treating it. I don't know. They're going to ship mine the last. <laughs> Just remember... Uh, Somebody, you, you know, somebody needs to sign the package, guys. Um, means somebody has to be home to sign the package because uh, it needs a signature. And if there's nobody there, then then you gotta go to the, you know, whatever FedEx or whatever it is and pick it up. Oh, definitely, man. It is amazing. Imagine how amazing the uh, Gran Turismo 7 is going to be. Next week, it's going to be bananas. Watching the raindrops splashing onto the windshield. Oh, God. It's going to be crazy. Cargasm, for sure. There is no snow. They do have a uh, rain. They do have different type of uh, uh, time, like morning, 
sunrise, noon, evening, sunset. Uh, they have stuff like that. And they got cloudy, partly cloudy, and then rain. They have the night, the night rain. Like Le Mans has like a night rain, which is pretty cool. Uh, so they, got, they got some pretty cool tracks, believe me. GT7 got some pretty cool tracks. Oh, you welcome. I forgot the name of that software that I used, uh, to be honest with you. I know that software is from China, believe it or not. But it was very useful for me to use it for ripping 3D movies onto my hard drive and then combining them with a 3D stereoscopic for DVD fab, yeah, stereoscopic uh, ratio, left and right, eye of the image, and then um, I was able to uh, upload that to big screen VR. So when I would go to big screen VR, I would actually invite my friends to watch Avatar in 3D, to watch Top Gun in 3D, to watch all these movies in 3D, and uh, it was great. But they all wanted to see Avatar, honestly. It's everyone that came in says, I want Avatar in 3D. And I don't blame them, because Avatar is the, <clears throat> the best 3D movie there is. And that's what I was doing, actually, uh, on, a, on a big screen. Now, Alex, if you have a PlayStation VR, uh, you can watch 3D Blu-ray movies on your PlayStation VR. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, you just put a 3D Blu-ray movie inside a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and you can watch 3D movies. If you have 3D Blu-ray movies on a disc, I mean, on the disc, and uh, you can watch it. Sony, listen, man, this is why PlayStation... Um, oh, you can do that. Oh, you want to run it from your DVD fab to your... Uh, yeah, you can do that. To your projector. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it through, just compress it. Um, use MP4, don't use MKV. MKV uses too much space. MP4 will get the job done. Oh, you bought the shutter glasses? Nice, nice. What kind of projector do you have, you don't mind me asking? Is it an Epson or, uh, which one do you have? I mean, Epson Home Cinema is pretty good for 3D, actually. Uh, I used it. But I also have a, a Vizio, a 65-inch Vizio 3D TV. Or oh, using an Optima. Optimas are pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Watching movies on a, on a projector, it's a whole different level, guys, especially on a 3D. Uh, there's something about a projector, it's hard to explain. Um, I like my OLED. I like all my televisions, even my Vizio 3D, even my Cinema 3D LG. Uh, and, but projectors, watching movies on a projector, it's that popcorn smell, feel of, of a movie theater, you know? It just feels like you're in a movie theater. It's just, it's honestly the best way to watch it. I think I understand why Steven Spielberg doesn't want the theaters to go away, because that's truly the way to enjoy movies. And again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with OLED. It's a beautiful picture quality, it's nice. But, uh, yeah, it's, you see what I'm saying, Alex, it's amazing, you know. 
And nothing against my OLED TV. It's beautiful. Yeah, granted. But, man, when you start watching movies on a projector, it's... Especially if it's 180 inch. 180 inch or 200 inch or 300 inch. I mean, watching Top Gun on that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. I mean, you it's hard to go back to a television after that i mean i mean i use my television for you know watching sports and programs and stuff like that occasional movies here and there um but if i really want to like watch saving private ryan uh avatar uh top gun maverick like it has to be a projector like i refuse to watch saving private ryan I refuse to watch Saving Private Ryan on anything other than a 180-inch projector. Like, that's it. Uh, same thing goes with uh, Top Gun Maverick. Same thing goes with... Um, it's oh, you got 180-inch? Dude, that's amazing. Huh, then you know what I mean. 180-inch, man. Diagonal. Uh, especially if you have a good lenses focus lenses on uh on your projector oh my god it's crazy let me try a different car let's see what else i have let's go to let's see I got some, I got a bunch of cars here. Uh, let's see what else we got. I got another Mazda here. All right, let's give it a try. <clears throat> Thank you, Brendan. All right. Dominic, if you have time tomorrow, don't forget, man. We'll be doing uh, Ace Combat 7, Top Gun Maverick, PlayStation VR. And then after that, around 5.30, we're going to start uh, with the Iron Man in VR. So Iron Man in VR and PlayStation VR. It's a lot of fun, man. Uh, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun Friday tomorrow. <laughs> gonna be awesome all right what do we got we got Mazda here we got our Mazda nice Thank you, Dominic. You too, man. Take care of yourself and um, be careful out there uh, at work. You know, you do work at the airport. You know what I mean? I mean, I know you're careful, but I like to say to everybody, just be careful, especially at your job. You know, all those airplanes and, you know, so much stuff going on. Take care, Dom. Ah, Jose is here. Welcome back, Jose. Top Gun Maverick is still downloading uh, for the uh, PlayStation VR 1, meaning Ace Combat 7. It's still downloading. So it's 45 gigabytes. So I don't think we'll be able to do it tonight. We'll do it tomorrow around 3 o'clock, Jose. But it's going to be fun. If you can make it 3 o'clock tomorrow, it's going to be a lot of fun. But even if you miss it, you can watch it later on. And then at 5.30, we're going to do um, Iron Man. Marvel's Iron Man in PlayStation VR 3. And then... 
on Sunday, we're going to actually on Saturday, on Saturday, we're going to do Resident Evil 7 in PlayStation VR. So it's going to be creepy. That Resident Evil 7 always creeps me out, man. Oh my god. Especially in VR. Ah, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> look at the detail. I mean, just look around here. Look at this. Hold on. Let me park over here. Look at the detail. Look, you can see the reflection. I can see the reflection, man. This is this is crazy, dude. Look, even the belt, uh, the seat belt is moving. Wow. This is crazy. The amount of detail, man. Oh, I just realized, what is this? What the hell is that? Is it like some kind of a LED? Oh yeah, like a little LED, bro. Did you see that? Like a little holographic LED screen. Gives you the speed. How fast you're going, wow. Small little details like that, man. Oh, this is in um, Japan. Japan. I think Kyoto. Kyoto. Japan, Kyoto. Remember that train that I was driving? That game, uh, Journey to Kyoto. That's pretty much what this is, Kyoto. A lot of mountains, a lot of history here, a lot of samurais tradition here, you know. Kyoto. Tokyo Drift. I can do drifting here. Here, check this out. We can spin some tires. Oh yeah, everything's digital now. If you buy these new cars, you cannot fix them.
if you buy these new cars, you have to take it to the dealer, man. I think that's one uh, negative. When you buy these new cars, everything's, you know, computerized. You have to have that key with you. You have to press the start button. Uh, I mean, your key has to be, you know, with you in a pocket or next to the uh, next to the dashboard. And then you got to start the button. The old school way was better, in my opinion. <laughs> I know, servos, just service. It really sucks, dude. I would never travel with these new cars. Honestly, people say, what do you mean? I said, I know what I mean. If I, if, if I go out somewhere out in the country, middle of nowhere in the Sasquatch land, I'm screwed. Like, that, that's, that car's gonna stay there. Uh, I'm screwed because uh, no one's going to be able to fix it. No one in the country's, uh, you know, mom and pop mechanic shop will not be able to fix it because they don't have the tools and parts necessary to fix it. So having an old car, it's actually better to travel, <laughs> believe it or not. Old car, they can fix it. They can... They can find the parts, they can patch it up, you know. There's the benefits in having some of these old cars, trust me. I know it's people are gonna laugh. Right, Alex? I know some people are laughing. Oh, you driving this old Honda Civic or you driving this old Toyota Corolla? It's like, nah. Or you driving this old uh, Camaro? Nope, don't worry, this old Camaro it's easily fixable. Imagine having a Tesla. Oh my God. Oh God. Tesla is really just, you know, Tesla, Tesla is just for a, a wealthy people, I guess. Wealthy. You have to be wealthy. Nice. You put 500,000 miles on one of your Toyotas, and it still runs. There you go. Welcome back, Deacon. Yeah, uh, I was going to do Top Gun Maverick Ace Combat. But uh, it's still downloading. It's 46 gigabytes. It's freaking huge. But we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Uh, around 3 o'clock. We'll do that tomorrow around 3. And then around 5.30 we can do um, Iron Man VR. I think I might have a Fiat. Think of my, let me see. I have a bunch of cars here. I have a bunch of stuff here. Uh, I have Tokyo Expressway. I was just there. We'll do it at night. We'll do it at night, and we're going to choose... A luxurious. Have you ever guys seen this car before? Toyota Crown Athlete G. Um, it's like a glo glorified Lexus. It's like a glorified Lexus. It's what it is. Oh, you seen it, Brendan? Yeah, it is like a glorified Lexus. It's all right. <laughs> but it's fun at night. Driving it at night, it's a lot of fun. Oh, this is about... Uh, actually, it's not that super expensive. It's like 40 grand. 40,000. It's not that bad. But they only have it in Japan. It's only in Japan, actually. You're not going to find it here. Look at that. That looks nice.
actually not bad. This car does a great job on cornering, actually. Very impressive. Oh man, Japan is awesome, from what I heard. I have a cousin who lives in uh, Osaka, and he tells me, man, just how awesome it is, dude. And he's begging me to come in to visit. I'll have to visit, man, one of these days. Um, he says it's like, um, it's like a different planet, man. Like, it's, it's, yeah, everything's clean, everything's organized, everyone's polite, everyone's like very, you know. Hell, even ex yakuzas are, are, are polite, you know. <laughs> they don't have them that much anymore because they have the new law uh, to clean up, you know, the mafia and all that. But uh, they're still around. But even even some of the ex yakuzas out there are like uh, pretty cool, from what I heard, from what he told me. Like they're not active, but they used to be back in the 80s and the 90s, and now they're retired. You know, uh, and they would tell them all kinds of crazy stories. You know. Oh, Bay Area. Oh. You're right there, right next to San Francisco. Well, you're in San Francisco, pretty much. Uh, yeah, man, the homeless situation, it's just, man. Homeless situation is just terrible, man. Oh, yeah, he's right there. You just have to cross that bridge, you know, that Golden Gate Bridge, and he's right there. Um, but uh, San Francisco is just... It's just as bad. Yeah, man. They're like homeless people everywhere, dude. Crime, rapes, murders, drug abuse. I mean, fuck, man. And also they're spreading diseases, you know? There's that too. And I mean, because, you know, they're out there spitting, shitting, and... It's just bad, dude. It's just fucking bad. And no one's taking care of them, dude. Like, uh, it's like they're human beings. Like, somebody needs to help them out. <clears throat> you know what I mean? That Newsom doesn't do anything, man. Terrible governor, dude. Terrible governor. All they had to do is just take a small portion of the money, dude. Let's say a $2 billion bill. Take $1.5 and you'll take care of that homeless problem so quick, so fast. But they're not going to do that. They would rather, you know, use that money for, for their political agendas. Oh, it sucks, man. You know, because they're human beings, man. That's somebody's son. That's somebody's daughter. That's somebody, somebody's, man. That's a, that's a human being. And, and I, you know, I don't like this, you know, when... When we're labeling people... I don't like labels, man. We're humans, man. You know? We make mistakes. You know, shit happens. Uh, you know, but we have to look at people as people, as humans, first and foremost. You know, and the fact that that's not being done, you know, it, yeah, sucks, man. Well, California is just one state. California is just one state. I mean, you got other states, you know, you got, you know, Illinois, you got, you know, uh, Even Pennsylvania, you know, parts of uh, Philadelphia, you got New York, you got obviously Chicago, Illinois, you got parts of Michigan, 
Detroit, you got uh, Baltimore. Baltimore is like a war zone, dude. It's just like unbelievable. You've got, uh, let me see, Seattle. It's a whole different ball game. Seattle. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri. It, it's just it's, it's ridiculous, man. Um, it's pretty bad, man. Pretty bad. You know? And nothing's being done, you know, to to make some programs, to use some of that money to, to help, you know. Instead, we give that money to foreign countries, right? Instead of taking care, uh, taking care of our own citizens, man. Uh, it's just, it's bad, man. It's bad. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, garbage everywhere. I know, Alex. Garbage everywhere. Feces, uh, you know, shit everywhere. Piss everywhere. Needles, syringes. Um, you know, Trojan horses. Um, what you call it? Condoms everywhere. You know, people's belongings, you know. Underwears, shit like that. Uh, it's just fucking bad, dude. It's like a dump fill. It's like a trash dump fill. That's what it is, man. It's um, it's sad, man. It's almost like you know, like you you know, you gotta pinch yourself on the arm. Like, is this really happening? You know, it's like, is this? I was like, yep, it's really happening. Oh yeah. What was that, Steven? Something about the controller? Oh, this is my favorite car, guys. Civic. I love this one. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's awesome. You just have to make sure... Uh, that you have a lot of light for the tracking to be really good and responsive you have to have a lot of light in your room do i have a pontiac fiero i don't think so but i do have a pontiac grand am uh from Smokey and the bandits i do have that by the way i do have a pontiac uh grand am uh from uh Smokey and the bandits See, this is what I'm talking about. The old school, old school Honda, Honda Civic. Yeah, I can do a Pontiac Grand Am. Uh, it's like a dedicated to Burt Reynolds. Uh, I have that. I can, I can show that to you. My favorite car, it's this one, believe it or not. It's a Honda Civic Type R. A lot of, I'm glad you asked that. It's this one. I know it might be laughable to some people, but hey, man. Each to its own, and to me, this this is very reliable. Honda Civic Type R, man. I'll drive this thing anywhere. No problema. Oh, yeah. I'm in Tokyo right now. Tokyo Expressway. Oh, you had a Fiero back in the day? Nice, man. That is nice. Those old school cars, man. Everything to me old school was better, man. I don't know. It's just the muscle cars, the, the look, the size, everything, you know. Just... Oh, 
I bet. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet, brother. Big time. Old engines had a... Well, the old engines had a carburetor, dude. You know, that's how far back I go. They had a carburetor. <laughs> Good old days, man. I don't even mind rolling down the windows. You know, like back in the days, you roll down the windows, no power windows. You'll never have to worry about that stuff. You don't need to worry about a mortar, you know, to, to roll your windows up and down. I don't know, man. It was just something about doing it yourself and just rolling the window down and up. <laughs> good old days, man. Look how good I am with this Honda Civic Type R. Precision at its best. Well, everything nowadays is different. Ooh, Plymouth. Oh my God, I'm so jealous, bro. I'm so jealous, Alex. Oh my God. With the V8. <laughs> oh I miss my Pontiac. I, uh, I can imagine. I miss my Firebird. My Knight Rider Firebird. It, the only difference is mine was red. It wasn't black. It was red. He had a sunroof. It was red. He had a big Firebird. Uh, gold Firebird on the hood. Oh, man. Pontiac Firebird. So good, man. Ooh. Oh, man. Good old days. But that thing was drinking gas. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That thing was drinking uh, uh, gas. I was at the gas station almost like every other day, bro. <laughs> but gas was cheap back then. You know, not like today. Today, forget it, man. The best car in the world? Well, that will be different for everybody. Everyone will have a different answer for that one. Because whatever is best for you, it won't be best for somebody else. Uh, and people will have an opinion on that. But if you want to ask me what's like the, the fastest car, then Bugatti, yeah, Bugatti definitely is out there. Bugatti, you can say what's the fastest car. I would say Bugatti for sure. Like for me, and I, I know people would laugh, and most likely they would laugh if I tell them the Honda Civic Type R is my favorite car. But for bunch of other people they would laugh they would say what what so you know <sighs> you know what's that old saying different strokes for different folks <laughs> each to its own unfortunately they have no bikes uh, they don't have crouch rockets. They don't uh, have any crouch rockets here on the Gran Turismo. 
But it would be nice. But then again, you know, it would be a conflict of interest uh, due to licensing. You know, I mean, if they put motorcycles in this game, it would. I think it'd be kind of great if they uh, can get the licensing to put motorcycles in real life. Oh, back in ninety, what was it? Ninety-eight. And a little bit of 99, Kawasaki Ninja, six, uh, what was it? It was okay, 600cc, wasn't nothing super crazy. Uh, Kawasaki Ninja. Um, I fell down dozens of times, and it got stolen, parts were missing, and it, uh, then they found the parts, and I put it back together, then I sold it. Yeah, it was just too crazy, man. Uh, it, it was dangerous. Just I had, to, I had to get rid of it. But yeah, I I did, man. It's scary, dude. Fucking scary. Even at 600 cc's. I know they got 1200 cc's and 1400 cc's. I know they got those cubic rates now. They're much higher. But uh, it was too dangerous, man. Just fuck it. It was a sign, you know, like the, the God was telling me, hey, how many times do you need to fall down, motherfucker? I was like, okay, I think it's enough. It's, yeah. So I sold it. But that was when I was younger, it was a long time ago, man. What's up, Cameron? How you doing? How you doing, Cameron? Ugh. Ooh, Kawasaki Vulcan, nice. Well, I mean, I was careful. I had a helmet. I had a jacket. But, dude, I got scratched up even through that jacket. Dude, I got scratched up. I got bruised up. Now, if I didn't have a jacket, I'd be totally fucked. Um, and those things, is, they're so hard to drive them on a... Uh, you welcome, Cameron. Those things are so hard to uh, drive on the roads because people drive like crazy, you know? No signal lights switching the lanes and you know and you got to remember man you're so vulnerable when you're riding these uh crouch rockets you're so vulnerable dude you got these suvs these big cars and oh you know old ladies switching lanes without giving a signal light you got teenagers you know driving recklessly without any signal lights and it's f and then you got the big trucks semis and it's just it was a, it's just a recipe for disaster, dude. Uh, motorcycle, to me, if you're like on a desert, if you're on the desert, yes. Like if I lived in Nevada, like out there north of Vegas or north of Henderson, if I lived in Nevada, all, all that desert, those roads, yeah. For sure, bro. For sure. 100%. But in the city here, it's freaking crazy, man. Yeah. But I'm, I'm an old geezer now. That was when I was younger, man. When I was, you know, in my younger age. It was 97, 98, 99. I thought my uh, shit didn't stink. I thought I was the badass, you know. <laughs> I thought I was a Vin Diesel or some shit. I even I even buzzed my hair, buzzed my haircut to be like Vin Diesel. It was like fucking ridiculous, dude. I used to be a big fan of Vin Diesel, for real. Uh, no, I'm not kidding, guys. I used to have a tank top, you know, the 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 wife beater black tank top or a white tank top, you know, just to, I was trying to mimic him, you know, and all that shit, you know. It was fucking ridiculous.
Oh, no. Wait a minute. Your cousin or your cousin friend? Man, that's tough, bro. That's tough, man. Sorry to hear that, Cameron. That's tough, man. That's like seeing that, witnessing that. It's, you know. Oh, cousin friend. No, I did, actually. I did. I'm not going to lie, dude. Uh, I did. I had, a, I had a bromance with Vin Diesel, for sure. Uh, dude, I, I, dude, I inspired everything to be like him, bro. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Drunk driver ran over him. Oh my God! That's something that'll that'll never leave his image, in his head. You know, witnessing shit like that, man, you never forget, bro. That that shit can traumatize you. Um. For quite a while. Seeing shit like that, man, you know, it stays with you for a while. You know, it's a. Uh, yeah. Can I do a Wind Diesel voice? <clears throat> oh man, I, I it's gonna be. It's been a while. I would have to like uh you know get into it, you know, like you know I would have to be like yeah. I live my life quarter of a mile. You know, like I I have to like get into that deep voice, you know. I have to uh I have to study him a little bit a little bit more. 'Cause I haven't I haven't watched him in a while, you know, so I have to like get into it <laughs> good first attempt I'll leave my life what a mile no it's no it's like that it's, it's different <laughs> No, he's got that more like a more like a New Yorker deeper, like a deeper New Yorker voice, you know. I live my life quarter of a mile. No, it's like no, it's just like I live my life quarter of a mile. <laughs> I don't know. Just I have to get it. I'm trying to find a good car here. Let's see what we got. Lexus. Ferrari. Mitsubishi. How about Mitsubishi? No. No. Suzuki. Subaru. How about a Subaru? There you go. I don't worry. I'll mimic him. I just, uh, I just have to watch him a little bit. You know, I, you know. I just have to watch him, like, like Christopher Walken. You know, I told you, I'm done killing. You know, I just have to like watch somebody for a little bit, and then that's it. it I'm like a magnet. I'm just soaking it all in. But don't worry. Once I start watching Vin Diesel, it's you know, he uses a lot of uh, deep vocal and he pushes a lot of uh, a lot of deep vocals from his uh, lungs that motherfucker's got some filled up big ass lungs dude uh, he can he can get that deep that deep vocal you know I live my life go to my it's like he's got that whole yeah what the, the Christopher Walken <laughs> you know, no big thing, you know. He's like a hyena. Pitch black. I bow down to no man. I bow down.
any upcoming movies. Uh, yeah, 64. 64 million. That's the one I'm looking for. Uh oh, uh oh. I would say Christopher Walken is the most, the most underrated actor uh, of all time, honestly. I mean, I know he's famous, sure, but I, I always felt like the guy never got the credit he deserved, you know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? It's always like these, you know, big names, but... Um, Christopher Walken, man, I would say is the most... Uh, reliable actor the guy can play he played so many roles man if you look at his IMDB and his movies from 70s 80s 90s and early 2000s stuff that he has done um, it's remarkable stuff man. especially that scene with true romance with uh, Dan uh, what's his name uh, Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper and uh, Christopher Walken, you know. When they're, when they're having that conversation about uh, Italians and where the Italians come from and this, this, and no, I don't want to get into it right now, but it was a very controversial scene. Um, no, 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 it was a true romance. Yeah, he was in Pulp Fiction, but in true romance there was a scene in the movie, uh, it was something about the Italians, and the Italians are, he was telling him, your women got fucked by black men, and, and stuff like that, and then, uh, you know, and then he says, he's a comedian. Ah. <laughs> I love him, I love him. Um, uh, and then, of course, he whacked him at the end, you know, and he spit on him after he whacked him. Uh, that was a true romance, directed by Tony Scott and written by Quentin Tarantino, of course. <clears throat> you guys never seen True Romance, did you? Nothing, man, just uh, doing some driving. What's up, Prince? Oh, that was cool. Excited about what? Oh, PlayStation VR two. Oh, yeah.
especially for a Gran Turismo. I mean, for me, you know, that's like a, that's like a heaven. The fact that I'll be able to try 400 different types of cars, all of these other tracks, I'll be able to race with you guys, multiplayer online, uh, through party chat, and, and look, man, it's gonna be great. Just for the Gran Turismo 7, I mean, it's like, this is like a heaven for anyone who loves Gran Turismo. This is like a, a, a love letter for Gran Turismo fans. I mean, it's like a love letter. I have Hitman on the PlayStation VR. Oh, hell no. I cannot touch that. I can't, I can't touch anything Dark Souls from software. I just can't. Because I just would die millions of times and <laughs> that would be it. I mean, these games are just not for me. These games are just not for me. You know what I mean? Uh, I understand why they why they are there, and I know there's uh, people out there who play it, but that's not for me, dude. Uh, it's just not for me. I like to, you know, enjoy myself. I mean, I like a challenge. I, I played challenged games before, obviously, but you know, right now I like chill stuff. I like stuff where it's chill. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't like to challenge myself once in a while, but um, currently I like chill stuff because uh, there's enough there's enough workout and stress for me to deal uh, in real life as it is. I don't need to stress myself out playing uh, those types of games. But I totally understand why there's people out there who play it. Uh, I get it, you know. I totally understand it. But it's just not for me. Uh, believe me, I tried it. I tried it. And uh, you gotta trust your instincts. If your instincts tells you this is not for you, you better believe it, it is not for you. I based a lot of things on instinct. You know, if it's not for me, it's not for me. Simpsons VR. Everyone has a different style of, 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 you know, what they like, what they don't like, you know, preferences. Uh, there are just certain games I can get into. It, you know? uh, it's just not my thing, you know. It's just I wasn't basically I wasn't designed to play those uh, roguelike type games, you know, where you can't save a game and you constantly are dying and losing all your shit. Um, it's not that I can't, like, train myself to do it, it's just, it's, for me, it would have to be something where I wouldn't have time to do it, you know, uh, where I would have time to do it, time to train myself to, to play it, uh, but again, I, I would hate it, dude. I wouldn't enjoy it. It's, it's like, you know, if I'm not going to enjoy it, it's like, eh, I just can't, you know. 
PlayStation VR 2. What was that, Cameron? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't see it. Oh, you said something about um, uh, Call of the Mountain. What was that? I'm sorry, I, I, I missed it. Am I going to be off to work when the VR 2 releases? That's a good question. Um, but first, I need to find out when I'm going to have it available. I will be off on Friday, next Friday, and I will be off next Thursday and Saturday. So I'll be off uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I'll have... Um, the afternoon Wednesday so if I get it on Wednesday which is highly unlikely that I might get it on Wednesday but let's say I do get it on Wednesday um, there might be a problem uh, I would have to be home because I have nobody to to sign my package you know because it's, it's it's this bullshit but you have to sign a package you know I hate that crap uh, I hate that crap, dude, totally. Um, that's the one thing that I don't like. I have to wait for... I have to sign that shit. You know, if you don't sign it, then, you know, they make three attempts, but you, you can go to the, uh, you know, to the office and pick it up from there, I guess. I don't know. It's just too much of a hassle, dude. I hate that shit. Um, So you navigate Horizon game. I'm sorry again. Jesus, I was... Uh, well, I don't know why these uh, chats just show up for a little bit. Navigate to uh, VR Horizon. What did it say? Oh, you navigate your menu with your eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it has a uh, Toby eye tracker. Uh, I mean, it's the same technology that Toby has, eye tracking. So you can use your eyes to, to track with your eyes. When you look at something, uh, it's going to focus on that. This will be perfect for first-person shooters, the eye tracking. This will be perfect for um, a flight simulator, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> especially for the flight simulators or or any type of uh, action game uh, it's just gonna Call of Duty yeah it's it's really gonna be great dude. The, the focus there's a different name for it um, basically what it does it sharpens the image when you focus on that and keeps the steady frame rate you know I only saw three reviews so far. I've seen uh, CNET, uh, I've seen IGN, and I've seen, um, what's the other one? CNET, IGN, and Digital Foundry. Uh, I thought the CNET was the best. Uh, it was the best review from CNET. IGN was like, you know, all that super hey hey this is exciting hey 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 you know like too too much of a like um how do i say this and i know this is going to trigger some people i already know that it almost felt like like ign was paid by sony or something like the guy was too super excited like oh i was like i get it dude you got a new toy relax uh i i felt cnet was more yeah the, the cnet was even the guy from CNET was fan. He was a fan. But he was more calm. Uh, you can understand him better. He wasn't, like, super excited. Like, he didn't have a hard on. Like, <laughs> like the guy, to me, was just... Uh, it was a more professional journalist review. Honestly. The guy in the IG was like... I know it's a $600, but hey, guys, 
when you look what's out there on the market, hey, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you didn't pay for it, Mr. IGN guy. You didn't pay for it. It was given to you, most likely. Uh, at the other guy was like, hey, man, this is expensive. You know, hey, man, you're going to need a PlayStation 5. Hey, man, you know, it's great, but you're looking at uh, $1,000. You're looking at the fact that not everyone has a PlayStation 5. You know, we have to look at that. We have to look at the fact when PlayStation VR 1 was released was only $400, but in 2016, everyone had PlayStation 4 in their homes. Everyone had PlayStation cameras. Everyone had PlayStation Move controllers in their homes. So uh, a $400 back then was a sweet deal for a lot of uh, PlayStation owners to 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 purchase PlayStation VR, and that's why they sold 5 million units. However, fast forward to 2023, things are different. We just got out of this pandemic two years, post-pandemic two years, and uh, the economy is not doing too well, obviously. It's, it's, it's a bit rocky. Uh, it's unpredictable. And people are struggling. They are struggling. There's no question about that. So you also s still have people they don't have PlayStation 5 in their homes. And now, in order for them to enjoy the PlayStation VR, you're going to have to spend $1,000. That's if you go with a digital version. If you go with the other version, which is a Blu-ray version, you're looking at $1,100. Uh, so, it's... Technology is great, but it's just a bad timing. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I think we'll see what happens. But I honestly believe that it was a bad timing uh, for the PlayStation VR 2. Uh, I think they should have waited when everyone had a PlayStation 5. Like everyone had a PlayStation 5. That would have eased the pain. Uh, you know what I mean? But we'll see what happens, you know. I already seen the review of the uh, Horizon on IGN. I watched it today. Um, I don't know. To be honest with you, Cameron, I'm not that thrilled about Horizon, Call of the Mountain, to be honest with you. Um, I was watching the review from IGN, and um, it seems like it's too repetitive. Most of the time, you're climbing, doing a bunch of climbing, and then you are doing a bunch of puzzles, and I hate puzzles. I'm not a huge fan of puzzles. There are some combat where you craft your bow and arrow and some other weapons, and you do meet Eloy. You get to talk to her. But it feels like a, too much money for a short like a technical demo experience, man. It doesn't... You see, this is what I was saying, and this is why people get mad at me now, because I'm speaking the facts and truth. And now they're going to put on their fanboy hats and they're going to get fucking pissed off. Well, too fucking bad. I got to tell you anyway. Uh, it's not enough. Uh, this video game, Horizon, Call of the Mountain, in my opinion, is... I'll play it, but it's not enough to warrant $60 as a technical demo it's not enough uh to to sell the units i would say gran turismo 7 or possibly if resident evil village was exclusive uh which well kind of it is limitedly exclusive it's limit limitedly exclusive on playstation vr but sony is going to have to um invest into first party games pretty soon man this year uh if they want this device to survive and i'm just just being brutally honest man i don't want this listen i paid for this thing all right i paid for this thing 
just like I paid for this other thing that I have in my head right now, back in 2016. I paid my hard-earned cash money for this thing, all right? It's not being given to me for free. I paid for it. I worked hard to pay for this thing. And I don't want it to be a failed product. I want everybody to be clear on this, all right? Anybody who says, I want this to fail, is just plain, simple, dumb, and stupid. I paid $600, close to $600, $588 for this thing. Uh, I don't want it to fail. But Sony better start giving me some game plan, future plan of what they're going to do in the future. They're going to have to, by May, June, show us the roadmap. They gotta have to, they're going to have to show us the roadmap. What's going what's gonna to happen? What do you have? What other first parties do you got lined up? Are you going to cut the price in, in a, by the end of this year? Are you going to lower the price to $400? What's going to happen? What changes are you going to make? Uh, they're going to need to do that. And so far, they haven't done that, man. Uh, they haven't done any advertisements. They haven't. Dude, you, you can't even order it on Amazon. You can't even walk into a Best Buy and buy it. You got to go through direct PlayStation to buy it. So what does that tell me? That tells me that they only have limited units. They don't have that many units. Because if they did, they would put it on Amazon, on Best Buy, Walmart, Target. It would be all over the place. So I have a feeling the Bloomberg information was correct. That they cut 2 million production to 1.5 million to play it safe. Um, I'm just worried, dude, guys. I'm just worried. Um, I, again, nobody's the biggest fan of PlayStation VR 2 than me. I, I know this might be hard for you guys to believe that because you're assuming something else. No one is the biggest fan of PlayStation VR than me. And I want this to be successful. But I've been disappointed before. I've been disappointed before. Uh, I mean, I just recently... I'm still recovering from Callisto Protocol... I was so hyped about Callisto Protocol. And I know I shouldn't be com comparing a video game to a product that's an elect el electronical product. But I'm just trying to keep it real, you know. That's all, guys. I'm just trying to keep it real. Um, what do we have? Gran Turismo... Oh, they're working on a Hogwarts VR add-on. Well, that'd be great, actually. I, dude, I, I told you guys. I told you guys, I'm trying to keep um, low expectations on everything. Um... I haven't I haven't tried the uh, Hogwarts yet. I'm not gonna play Hogwarts till I watch the uh, Harry Potter movies. Well, what I expect from a technical demo is to be at thirty nine dollars. Prince. That's what I expect. I expect to get what I pay for. I don't expect to get ripped off. And uh, you, do you like getting ripped off, Prince? I'll take that as a no. So neither do I. Neither do I. Uh, it's a technical demo, and that's what it is. That's why you got only seven. It's nothing extraordinary it's a technical demo that's going to show you what playstation vr2 it's capable at the moment with all the technology that's built inside and that's fine and dandy but 
the game should have been $39. It's just, let's just, let's just put it that way. That's just me. Yeah, but six hours, what are you doing that game? Six hours. You're just riding on a kayak, you're climbing and climbing on the Mount Everest, climbing and climbing and talking to some more people, climbing some more, fighting some enemies here and there, talking to some more people, go on a kayak on, on the river and then jump out of the kayak again and see some, you know, creatures running around and do some more climbing, do some more talking, and do some more crafting, and fight some bosses here and there, and then do some puzzles, do some more puzzles, and more puzzles, and it's like repetitive. It's like the six hours of repetitive, uh, that's what the guy says, of uh, technical demo. I was expecting more like a thrill ride, honestly. I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting to be climbing. But you know what? I should have known. Call of the Mountain. It's going to be a lot of climbing. <laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> you see, the, this, the title's telling you actually what it is. The title is telling you exactly what it is. Exactly, Cameron. I agree with you, man. 100%. And we're not knocking on Horizon. Uh, but... I'm surprised that they didn't think of uh, Spider-Man 2. Alright, let me pause this for a minute. I mean, God help me. God help me help you, Sony, understand. God help me help you, Sony, understand. You had plenty of time, Sony. Plenty of bloody time, Sony, to put Spider-Man 2 with PlayStation VR 2 launch. What a great title for a PlayStation VR 2 launch. A Spider-Man game. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Instead of a Horizon, That's a system seller. That's what's going to sell the system. Spider-Man. Yes. Even if it's eight hours, it's still going to be more enjoyable. Open world of New York City swinging from one building to another, man. That's what I heard. They, it might come. But we still don't know. It hasn't been 100% confirmed. We don't know. We need 30 games. <laughs> yeah, but the Prince, this is all if. 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 Right now, there's what? 30... How many games? 32, 33, or something like that. 37 uh, games are available. I think 37, if I'm not mistaken, 37 games are available on lunch. Um, and out of those 37, I would say Gran Turismo 7. Resident Evil Village, like it's a must-have, right? Let's be honest. GT7 Resident Evil Village, it's a must-have. I think more, more, you know what's funny? I think more people are going to be blown away by Resident Evil Village than the Horizon Call of the Mountain. Mark my words, mark my words, next week majority is going to be blown away by Resident Evil Village than Horizon. 
And of course, Gran Turismo 7, of course. But how do you guys feel? No, no seriously, you guys know how I feel. I want to hear what you guys think. I want you to give me your honest opinion. Uh, guys, tell me your honest opinion, how you feel about PlayStation VR. You know how I feel. You know my stance. Um, what about you guys? What What are you honest? Like, you're honest, like no bullshit, like, like 100% honest, like true feelings about PlayStation VR. Brendan says he's feeling nervous. Okay. Jose said he wished they would let us try it. I agree. That's the best way to convince people to, to purchase something. Let them try a demo. Honestly, I just want to see what the future looks like, says the prince. Okay. Um, what about you, Deacon? What about you, Cameron? What are your stances on, on the PlayStation VR? Cameron says it will do the same thing the PlayStation VR 1 did. So it'll be a niche. A niche thing, I see. Interesting. Give us a roadmap. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Roadmap would be great. Um, but who knows what they're going to do? I mean, obviously, we're just speculating. All of us here, me included, everybody. Uh, we're all speculating. I don't think even Sony knows uh, which way it's going to go. They're just like, they're going to put it out there in the wild and uh, let's see, uh, you know, they're going to roll the dice and see what happens, basically. <laughs> Ooh, Silent Hill. Silent Hill? Dude, sign me up. I also heard the Resident Evil 4 might be getting a uh, PlayStation VR update. That's what I heard. <laughs> hey, look, the good news is this. All right, let, let's, let's focus on the positive. Let's not be so negative, you know. Let's not be, you know, uh, crybabies. Because people are going to think we're being crybabies. Even though we're not being crybabies, but they're going to think we're being crybabies. Um, I think the good news is this. It's getting a lot of good reviews. It's getting... It's getting... A, yeah, sure, Cameron, go ahead. It's getting a lot of great reviews. Uh, so to me, to me, that's a positive. That's a, that's a good start. Everyone's giving a positive reviews, great reviews. Uh, so that's good. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good step forward. Wouldn't you say, guys? That's, that's, that's good. I mean, that's a good silver lining, right? It's a good start. Hmm, interesting. Sony is not backing VR2. See, this is what I'm afraid of, dude. That's what I'm afraid of, is the, the lack of enthusiasm. They're showing me the teardown. You know, like, okay, fine. I, I, I don't mind watching the teardown, uh, the teardown of the, of the headset and the controller, but is that all you've got? You think that's what we want to see? A teardown of, of a headset? Like... Give us a roadmap. Do some, like, greatness awaits. 
I don't see any greatness awaits. You know, that's that's what worries me, dude. And there goes six hundred dollars. And where's the greatness awaits? Jim Ryan's wallet. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's um, it's I'm worried. And look, I like I tell everybody I have every right to be worried because I paid for the damn thing. So I don't want it to fail. Clearly, I don't want this thing to fail. Uh, you know that that'd be like waste waste of six hundred dollars. You know what I mean? It, it would it would hurt. I would need like a recovery, long time for that shit. <laughs> I would have to go to some kind of AAA uh, meetings or whatever. No, no, double A meetings or whatever the fuck you call that. AA meetings. Not triple A meetings. AA meetings. What the fuck's wrong with me? Like, I would need some, like, therapy. <laughs> double A meetings. <laughs> That's what scares me, you see? This kind of stuff you're telling me, Cameron, scares the shit out of me. It scares the shit out of me. Because cause you write. You're speaking the truth, and that's what worries me, you know. And uh, they're focusing mainly on a PlayStation 5. PlayStation VR 2, it's like this this little experiment. See if it works. Let's put it out there, see if it works. Let's roll the dice. Like a PlayStation Vita. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I just said it. Oh, fuck, I just said it. Please, don't let PlayStation VR 2 end up like PlayStation Vita. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, it just came out of my mouth. That's it. I cursed it now. It's cursed. I fucking said it. <laughs> Why the fuck did I have to say it? PlayStation Vita all over again. I know, I know. No, listen, no one is a, a, a biggest Sony fanboy than Cameron. I know that for a fact. And when Cameron tells you this, that he's worried, when he knows, I mean, and he, listen, Cameron would love to see PlayStation VR be successful. Anything Sony, yeah, he wants to be successful. But he's being realistic here. Cameron is telling us the truth. Sony is not going to focus too much on first party for PlayStation VR 2. They're going to focus on the PlayStation 5 on the first party, which makes total logical sense. Why would they focus their money on PlayStation VR 2 when they have a PlayStation 5 successful console? They're going to focus on PlayStation 5. Um, so I guess PlayStation VR 2 is going to turn into kind of like a the 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 first PlayStation VR one and if that's the case I'm okay with that if it turns out like PlayStation VR one I'm okay with that some niche mediocre experience that's okay I'll, I'll, I'll be all right with that and I mean I'll live I'll survive with that I'll survive with that I don't know, man. <laughs> I think I cursed the PlayStation VR by creating this channel, changing my name to only on PlayStation VR 2. <laughs> I cursed it. Oh, Lord. Why did you do it? Missed 4K. Why did you do it? Oh, yeah, that's what we want, Cameron. That's what I want. I want to see Spider-Man 2. I want to see Ragnarok. I want to see uh, Days Gone. You know, I want to see Uncharted. The La Jesus Christ, The Last of Us? Are you kidding me? The Last of Us Part 2? Oh, my God. Uh, imagine The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2. Oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> I 
I wish that that people who criticize me on the on the comments would understand this. It says you're butt hurt because you didn't get a free PlayStation VR 2. I said, why should I be butt hurt about something that I never applied for? You know. You're just a negative person. You need to cancel yourself. You don't love PlayStation VR. I think so. I think so. I'm not sure, Steven. I think so. The kind of comments I was reading yesterday, oh my god, man. One guy told me on a comment, he said, you should be grateful that Sony even made this. I was like, what the fuck is this? He was telling me as if I owe something to Sony or whatever. Like, I owe something to them. Like, like you should be great. These Sony fanboys, man, I mean, some of these, th those are like a, some kind of a breed of tribalism, of Sony tribalism I've never ever seen before, man. Like one guy today, his name is Gamertag VR. Shout out to Gamertag VR. He was doing a review on uh, Call of the Mountain, right? And he said something along the way that Unchar I mean, uh, Forbidden West wasn't so, it's unpopular, or whatever. It wasn't very popular, it was unpopular. And that was his opinion. That was his opinion. <laughs> And he says that, uh, you know, the Horizon wasn't like the greatest hits of all time. Uh, it was an unpopular kind of a whatever game. It wasn't, it didn't like sell billions of consoles, you know. It's not like uh, The Last of Us Part 2 um, or God of War. And because he said that, because he said that, all of the Sony fanboys out there started shitting on him. Everything was great till he said unpopular franchise or whatever. So basically, if you want to be a successful a YouTuber, you have to appease to majority. Uh, and that's the, the one problem that I see happening with a lot of YouTubers. They're always careful. They're, they're carefully, they're even writing the scripts for, for crying out, out loud. They're so careful on what they say because they don't want to lose the fanboys that makes the money, the fanboys that helps the algorithm. So they're constantly, they have to appease to their fan base. Um, and uh, I don't know if I can do that, bro. I just can't. That's just not my principle, man. I I'm not built like that, dude. I just can't do that. If you can do that, if hey, good for you, bro. But me, I, I can't. You know, I, I try. I tell everybody, I just can't do it. I call it the way I see it, man. That's it. That's it. I have no hair on my thong. I'm gonna just call it the way I see it. I'm outspoken. That's that. Uh, you know, that is that is that is how I am. Whether it's televisions or PlayStation VR or video games or what have you, I just call it the way I see it. That's it. You know, and it is what it is. <clears throat> I mean, I love VR in general. I love VR so. Uh, now, for me, okay, let me let me speak from my selfish point of view. On the videos, I was speaking for majority point of view because I think about you know the middle class. I think about people who don't have money. I think about individuals who are struggling with money, and they're out there. And for them, yes, you know. 
PlayStation VR is not something that's going to be feasible at this time. Maybe in the future, when they cut the price, when there's more stuff out there. Uh, but speaking selfishly uh, for myself, I have no problem. I can afford 600 Not a big deal. I can do it. I can do it. I'm a single guy. I mean, I'm, I make uh, uh, decent money. I can do it. Um, it's not an issue for me. I have a PlayStation 5. I have two PlayStation 5s. It's not an issue for me. And I keep telling everybody, stop focusing on me. Like one guy yesterday said to me, how much do you pay for your phones? I said, dude, don't worry about me. What I, what I can afford, what I can afford. We're not talking about me. I try to tell everybody, focus on majority out there. And that's what this is. Majority out there is going to have a difficult time purchasing this because they're going to need a PlayStation 5 that costs 400 to $500 and then an additional $600 for PlayStation VR. That's $1,100 to $1,000. So for them, that's, that's a lot of money. You know, and it's not an easy decision for them to make. Why? Because we live in very difficult times, uncertain times. People are getting laid off. They're losing their jobs. They can't find another job. The economy is not doing too well. <clears throat> so for majority of people out there, is I speak for. For me personally, I'll have a good time. Fuck, I'll enjoy it. I'll make some money off of it. I'll monetize it. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm comfortable. But I'm speaking for majority out there who are married, they have kids, they have family. They have to think about the food. They have to think about the health insurance. They can't think about this shit. All right? So that's whom I'm referring to. But everyone seems to be focused on me. Don't worry about me, what I can afford. You don't know what I can, what I can't afford. That, that's besides the point. I, like I told the other guy yesterday, I said, focus on majority. Can majority afford this? <clears throat> you know what I mean? And even if they could, why would they? They can use that thousand dollars to, you know, buy necessities, stack up on food, water, other things, medicine, stuff that they need, necessities, versus a luxury. This is a luxury. You don't need this. All right? Necessity is a necessity. You need food, you need water, you need medicine. This, it's a luxury. You don't need this. So if Sony wants to reach a global uh, appeal to re reach globally and sell like 15 million units, that's going to be tough at the moment. And everybody agrees. I watched bunch of PlayStation VR reviews, PlayStation VR 2 reviews, and every single one of them said, this is expensive. No one ever said, ooh, this is cheap, go ahead and buy it. Every single one of them that gave 9 out of 10, even Digital Foundry, they said the same thing. Hey guys, it's expensive. We don't know how else to say it. So everybody agrees with me that it's expensive. Even Sony, I'm sure, agrees with themselves that this was miscalculated and it's expensive. And that's why it's so available for pre-order. You can pre-order it right now, no problem. So, that's the whole point, guys. Yeah. That's what I was trying to come across. And, and I have a feeling that some people, they just don't want to hear... Um, what, they only want to hear what they want to hear. They don't want to hear uh, the truth about what I'm trying to say. Me, I will enjoy it. Believe me when I tell you. I will enjoy the PlayStation VR 2. I'll do the unboxing. I'll make a bunch of views on that unboxing. I'll make a bunch of views 
on the live streams that I do on it. I'll make a bunch of views. I'll pretty much collect the money from the videos that I will make on PlayStation VR 2, and I'll get that money back from PlayStation VR 2. I, I will enjoy PlayStation VR 2. That's if you want me to speak truthfully, selfishly, I will enjoy it. But it's not about me. It's about speaking. I try to speak for everybody. You know, and that's what people don't seem to understand on my videos. You know, and they try to compare PlayStation VR 1 with PlayStation VR 2. And I explained already that, that it's a two different times. PlayStation 4 was already successful. Uh, nah, he's not. Uh, he, he trusts me. <laughs> My brother's not into it, man. I tried, Cameron, believe me. I tried. He's not into it. He loves his television, dude. <laughs> He just loves playing stuff on television, you know. He's a uh, like old school. Just give him a TV, give him a sofa, old school. Yeah. You know. And it's really hard. Let me tell you, man. It, it's it, I was talking about this. How hard it is to convince somebody. No, but you guys are the same age. You guys are born the same age, actually. You guys are the same. Yeah. You're 1978, he's 1978. You guys are, I think, same age, I think. Um, so, um, but he's also busy, you know. He's got a, a big family, you know. You know. I have uh, four nieces and one nephew, so he's got, you know, big family. And he's busy and all of that married life but sometimes he loves to you know enjoy like he plays video games around this time like uh, like uh, 12 o'clock like not this time but like 11 o'clock when everybody's sleeping then he goes into his uh, man cave man cave I'm sorry he has a man cave he's got a man cave believe me <laughs> I've seen it he goes into his man cave and that's where he spends a couple of hours, maybe three hours, till two in the morning. Then he sleeps for about maybe five hours, four hours. And, yeah. actually jealous of me you know it's uh, it's a lot of stress you know having uh, you know so many children I mean and then it's crazy it's a madhouse in there you know it's just they're always running around and making noises <laughs> like he has he doesn't know what peace and quiet means like he he doesn't know what that is I said I said do you have a peace and quiet like what what does that even mean? I mean, having a one child, it's a responsibility. Having a one child, it's responsibility. Imagine having four children. Imagine that responsibility. Imagine that responsibility, having four children. And that's true too, you know. I mean, I admire him, you know, because uh, he's, uh, he's totally opposite of me. Totally opposite of me. He's like, uh, like Morgan Freeman. 
quiet and cool, collective. Um, nothing phases him. Uh, to piss off my brother, uh, you're gonna really have to try hard. Like, really, 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 really hard. <laughs> like, the words don't bother him. Like, stuff that people say, the stuff doesn't bother him. But if you lay your hand on him, well, you will regret that. <laughs> Listen, marriage is just not for me. You know, I, I had this conversation with my brother. I said, listen, marriage is just not for me. And, you know, it's not for everybody. You know, I, I'm not here, you know, dissing anybody who is married. Listen, man, I love my nieces and nephews. I love them. I love them. I'll do anything for them. I'll die for them. I'll die for them. I'll do anything. I'll die for them. Um, but raising kids, it's a big responsibility. It's a huge task, responsibility. When you have a big family, you got a wife, you got kids, you have to support them, you have to pro provide for them. It's a lot of stress. It takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of um, discipline and, and dedication. Uh, to do that, you know, and some people, they're just not built for that, you know. Oh, I think your niece will enjoy VR, honestly. Uh, there's some cool experiences, Cameron, that your niece will uh, enjoy with a PlayStation VR. I think she will enjoy there's the one game that's uh that's coming out um I forgot the name of it uh but it's like for everyone rated E for everyone It's not a Tetris it's like a platformer no, not Willage. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Brent. <laughs> uh, like a like a Tetris platformer 3D VR. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Brent? Jeez. Oh, wait, so then, so she would love Village. Hey, look, hey, you know. She probably would like Village, but I don't know if you would let her do it. I'm, I'm sure your uh, brother would get mad, and I'm pretty sure you're... I don't know, would they get mad if, if she played the village? <laughs> okay, then she can... Alright, then she can play village. I... She'll be fine. She will be fine playing village. There you go. I see I didn't know that. All right. It movie wasn't scary, honestly. I you know what? I haven't seen a really scary movie. Uh, in a long time. I can't remember last time uh, I've seen a, a really 
scary movie. I can't remember the last time that I have seen like a really good scary movie. I can't remember. I can't think of anything. Oh, Annabelle, she, that shit is scary, dude. All right, Annabelle, I don't know, something about dolls, dude. I don't like it. You know, they look kind of like, you know, they're always smiling and they're always like looking at you with that, you know, smiling and it's something so weird about it, dude, you know, I don't know. They're sitting on the, you know, on the desk or on the, on the cabinet, you know, they're sitting on the cabinet and they're like, they're looking at you with those eyes open, smiling. It's just something creepy about that, dude. I don't know. That shit creeps me out, bro. What's the time? Ah, oh, well, it's time for me to get my ass to bed. I gotta get up early in the morning. Well, I have plenty of entertainment today, guys. Uh, tons of videos for you. Tomorrow we're gonna continue with uh, Top Gun Maverick at 3 o'clock. PlayStation VR, Ace Combat. And then we're gonna do uh, Iron Man. Iron Man at 5.30 on a PlayStation VR, which is exclusive only Actually, both games are still exclusive only to PlayStation VR, as a matter of fact. Iron Man, it's only on PlayStation VR. And the uh, Ace Combat, it's still exclusive to PlayStation VR. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I can s open up a party chat. I don't like this reading chat crap, man. It's too quick, too fast. Um... Maybe we can uh, open up a party chat. Jump in. I'll be around like 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock-ish. Around there somewhere. But don't worry. I'll be on from 3 till like now. 11 o'clock. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Party chat, man. I'll open the party chat. As soon as I uh, start the live stream, the party chat will be open. And I'll be on from 3 to like 11, like 7 and a half hours, maybe 8 hours, give or take. So there'll be plenty of time. All right, let's do a donut here. Here we go. One, two... Three. Nice sunset. And Mamba, when you come back, what, three o'clock? You can join me as well. Uh, all of you guys can join me on... Uh, even you, Deacon. You're on my PlayStation. You can join me. Uh, everybody. Even uh, Holly. Steven. I don't know. Ken Steven? Oh, he doesn't have a PlayStation. He can't. Oh, get dammer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. I was gonna say dumber, but I said bummer. <laughs> no, I meant to say bummer, but I said dumber. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to say dumber, I just said bummer. <laughs> Everybody's going to say, how dare you say dumber? Bummer. It's a bummer. Hey, is, Steve, is Steven still here? Can he join through uh, Discord on PlayStation? Mm. 
Maybe. Maybe I'll talk to him tomorrow when I see him. Only fans are gamers. <laughs> <laughs> hey listen man I'm not here to judge you got to do what you got to do to survive you know it is what it is <laughs> all right guys so I'll see you tomorrow I'll have the party chat open uh, I guess I'll talk to Steven, see if he can uh, use the Discord through PlayStation. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if not, then he can just, you know, type in. That's fine. All right, guys. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. Hasta mañana. Mañana, mañana, mañana. I'll see you later. Mañana, mañana. You too, Deacon. Take care, guys. Take care, Cameron. Take care, Steve. Take care, Brendan. Take care, Mamba. Take care, Prince. And uh, Alex and everybody else that came in. Uh, whom I forgot to mention. <coughs> Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Mamba. Same thing to you. Take care, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Salavi, salavi. Arawa, arawa. I'm out. <laughs>